Hey guys, my name is Pat Downs. I'm the engine builder here at CB Performance. Uh, today we're running this turbocharged EFI engine. The customer is uh, from Canada. His name is Mark Auger. Mark asked that we do a video, so we thought we'd do a little better one than usual. Mark's a really good customer of ours. So as you can see, this engine uh, is a little different color. Mark had uh, asked for this color. It's a tan powder coat. Mark had specifically asked that I clear anodize all the aluminum pieces on this engine. So as, as you can notice, everything that's aluminum has been clear anodized, even the AN fittings on the motor have been clear anodized. This particular turbo motor is using our new Gen 4 EFI computer. We're running boost control, water meth control, our crank trigger ignition. Uh, we're running eight pounds of boost on this engine. It makes 252 horsepower, 249 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, here in a little bit, we're going to run this engine and show you some of the features of the Gen 4 computer. Uh, we'll run it with the meth control so you can see how beneficial uh, that is for a street car, how it lowers air temp and head temps. Something really important for a turbocharged motor on the street. So uh, let's get this baby running, man. Okay, here is our dashboard for our Gen 4 EFI for people who haven't seen it. Here we're showing spark, uh, boost uh, duty cycle, TPS, uh, map, head temp, air temp, closed loop percentage, learn percentage, battery fuel pressure, injector duty cycle, and injector pulse width. Here in just a second before I do a pull on the dyno, I'm going to turn on our data log so we can retrieve all our information. This engine's running 102 sensor, so you can see here Air Fuel 1 is our single O2 sensor that we have in the tailpipe. Uh, we can run up to 402 sensors for each individual cylinder with the Gen 4. Also, we can run up to four EGT probes, on one on each cylinder. We're not running EGT on this motor, uh, but we could if we wanted to. So uh, here we go. I'm going to turn on the data log. I can get my mouse down here. Scroll over. Turn that on. Now we're recording every parameter of the motor. So here goes our load. shut the data log off so we can uh, retrieve our uh, information. Okay, so we've just completed our dyno pull and uh, we're going to retrieve our log file that we did uh, through the Gen 4 EFI computer. So, as you can see, uh, when we do a data log, we retrieve every bit of information we can uh, from the EFI computer. Uh, so, what I'd like to pull up first 
is uh, I'll pull up RPM. I always like to read O2 or air fuel ratio. Um, air tint and then we'll pull up map. So we go over here, we click OK, and here is our four parameters that we decided to pull up. I'm going to highlight the run right here, let's let it see it a little better. And uh, you see we have RPM, air fuel ratio, air temp, and map, map or boost. So here towards the end of our pull, I'm going to put my mouse right at the very end and you can see we're at 6,373 RPMs. Our air fuel ratio was right about 12 to 1. We were at 152 uh, degrees air temp, which is pretty hot. That's why we like to run methanol injection. And our boost was 172 kPa, which is about 9 pounds. Uh, we can pull the mouse over farther and start at the beginning of our run. Uh, here we're at 4,300 RPMs. We had just started to get into our pull. 13 to 1 air fuel ratio, uh, 126 degrees air temp, and 155 kPa, which is I believe about 2 pounds, maybe 3 pounds. Uh, if I want to pull up some different parameters, we go over here to chart, setup. Uh, let's see here, what do we want to look at? We can pull up engine temp, uh, fuel pressure. I'll get rid of some of these so we don't make this thing too clumsy. I'm going to get rid of uh, my air temp. Let's get rid of O2 since we already know what that was. Okay, we'll go over here to OK. Now we can see our map again. Now the reason this line is so wavy is we're, we're running boost control. And with boost control, uh, we have to open and close that wastegate to control boost. So this, this wavy line, that's the wastegate opening and closing. Uh, and that's why you see that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You don't feel it in the car. And that's really the only way you can control boost. Uh, our engine temp, here we are showing about 165 degrees. Fuel pressure under maximum boost we had got up to about 49.50 pounds so that kind of gives you an idea of how the data log feature works in the gen 4. data logging is very useful in tuning street cars uh, race cars for a race car uh, we have an external trigger where you can put a switch or a button on your dash because you don't want a laptop in the car uh, when you're drag racing it unless you have it fastened uh, somewhere so um, I hope that gives you a, a little better insight on our EFI. And for Mark, uh, you got a really good engine coming to you, buddy. I hope you like it.